anyways the video about to see i want to let you be aware of something really quickly so the next like 10 to 15 minutes of this video is going to be showing you how to clip fortnite but if you want to do any other game uh you're basically just going to want to add a um you're going to understand this after you watch the rest of the 15 minutes of the video but add a game capture or display capture if you have a game like valorant that is in full screen mode you want to do game capture and then you want to do capture specific window and then you want to do riot client or uh, valorant you'll see and then you'll capture something like if you want to play roblox like this and you just have a window full screen mode but yeah guys i just wanted to share that quick detail with you before we get straight into the video uh, make sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye okay first thing before the video starts i really just want to point out really quickly that everything i say in this video is valuable that's why it's 15 minutes long every single problem every single question is probably answered through this video so please watch through the end and i've been doing this for over two years so i'm really experience just trust me on this one guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let's go ahead and get into it What's going on, everyone it's your boy and today we're actually going to be showing you how in 2022 you guys can actually get for a nightclub this is for low-end pcs so don't worry i can also make a tutorial on high-end pcs but this is specifically for low-end like the best settings and everything just so you guys and i know it says 12 20 2021 20, i guarantee you guys this will work for 2022 and leave it in the comments if it doesn't so i can just help you out or i can make a new tutorial but it should be working for 2022 by the time you guys see this. and you might be asking why you Use obs studio when when you have a pc you have nvidia so a lot of people actually have amd cards and they don't have the clipping software like nvidia does um and also this is so if you want to add a keyboard if you want to add a face cam or while you're streaming if you want to get clips with your face cam and your audio and your music in the background so this is the best way to get clips for literally anything and i'll show you guys how so as you can see it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward this tutorial i'll probably have sections in the videos for like the settings the different things uh, so you can scroll through that and look in the description and click on the timestamps first thing you want to do is search up obs download in the google search bar and then you obviously see this you can do open link and new tab that's what i did and you want to go here just download the installer this will pop up you just want to click on it and let it do its thing uh it'll probably bring you to a screen that says obs blah, blah blah you click next and then you install it and it's pretty pretty simple and once you're down done downloading it you want to go to the search bar and just type in obs and it should just pop up like that and if it doesn't so guys once you launch obs it's gonna come to a screen like this it probably won't even have scenes but we're gonna want to do is click uh add scene like this i'll just do that i already created one just for the purpose of this uh these are already all the other stuff i have but this is the one scene right here but i'm gonna go through first um how to actually click fortnite then i'll go through the settings i'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and open fortnite real quick. here we got the epic games launch i'm gonna go ahead and open fortnite for you guys so do got fortnite open as you can see and so you just want to go out of this so press the windows key i'm in full screen mode right now to actually make it easier for you guys to just see this uh i think i'll go to uh window full screen no mode just for now and i'll tell you this little the way people uh get mixed up and confused with actually recording clips and stuff so the way you want to do it is uh, first of all let me just show you how to record then i'll show you the problem that people oftentimes run into so you want to click on these sources right here click add when i go to game capture you want to uh, do new game capture. You can call it whatever you want. Fortnite new or something like that. Um, and you want to go here mode. And you want to go capture specific window. Once you do that, you should have. Don't change any of these. These are fine right here. Go to window. Do Fortnite. And uh, if you see something more than that, click on this one. The Win64 Shipping.exe. And once you have that, it should pop up. There you go, guys. It does show up right there. So we have this game capture and specific, and it shows up right there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, guys, the mistake that people typically make they typically do is display capture and they go ahead and do a new display capture and they choose their display whatever it's fine it's all good but when they actually go to record or clip it turns out in a really laggy situation so if you guys have ran into this issue you guys know what i'm talking about it's when uh it'll probably be recording fine for like 30 seconds then it'll freeze and then it'll be like like literally like one frame per like 10 seconds and it looks absolutely terrible and you're wondering why it won't do it and it's because your game is on full screen and this is on display capture and the display capture does not work whenever you are recording a full screen game the only way display capture will actually work is if you have it on window full screen or windowed uh so it fits the display and it's not scaled like with full screen and that is not possible 
with uh with fortnite because you want to have it on full screen for the max fps so if you do want to do display capture that's fine you just have to have it on window full screen or windowed but if you do want to have a, a, a full screen gameplay you want to have it on game capture i'm gonna go ahead and hide that for now actually you know what? i'll just delete it because we don't and if you guys do have stretch res the way you want to do this is that when you're doing game capture so let me actually show you an example real quick i'm gonna go ahead and put this on windowed and you don't want these black bars obviously i'm gonna go and right click you want to go to transform and you want to go fit to screen and obviously this will fit the window um but if you don't if you have a different ratio like this one 1400 and 900 which is 16 by 10 instead of 16 by 9 you want to do stretch to screen and this will actually make it look stretch on the gameplay but it will keep your native res here that's if you want to just have it so there's no black bars in your clips or anything those are cool like tiny quick tips to know just when you're about to record something or if you want to get these fortnite clips and then obviously if you put it back to 1920 by 1080 it will go back to its normal and you won't have to worry about it stretching or anything it looks completely normal as you can see now right, guys though, i'm gonna go ahead and get into the settings so also if you want to get clips probably want to add a mic so you want to go to uh audio input capture you want to go here just add a new one and you want to choose whatever device right here it's pretty simple and straightforward so mine is the realtek audio usb uh, i'm using this to record um so you can change the volume too if you don't want any volume you can make it softer louder that's really useful too i'm gonna go ahead and delete it for now that's if you want to have a, a mic in your thing quick thing if you do want to add a video capture device you do video capture and you select the h2o cam i'm already um and it's pretty simple like that it's uh you don't need to change any of the settings really just do that and that's about it i'm gonna go ahead and delete that as well because we don't need it for these settings okay so for the obs settings so general i'm just gonna get go ahead and walk through this quickly general is really not that big of a deal there's nothing really important here the one important thing in my opinion is just the snap sensitivity if you increase this as you can see like it'll snap to the edges easier and this is uh really good when you're putting face cam overlays and stuff if you want stuff to connect well or if you want to have like free a bunch of freedom and like no snap sensitivity how it snaps a lot less and you can really control it pretty easily so now the more important stuff for streaming if you want it you can choose what platform you want to do on uh if you want a tutorial on how to stream in 2022 just let's get like 100 likes on this video real quick guys but there's not really any settings here you need to do for like video quality wise this is more if you want to set up a stream so just uh comment down below if you want to see that and here is the important stuff so first of all output your you guys when you first download it's going to look like this on simple do not want this you want to put it on advanced and for streaming right here uh, i'm going to do streaming record and recording um for actually you know what i'm gonna walk through the streaming things real quick because this is mainly the thing you're gonna need for the settings if you want to get clips is recording because you're obviously not gonna be streaming uh, but streaming you can just copy these settings it's pretty pretty simple um, i'm gonna go ahead and just switch over to recording real quick to type just have this on standard recording path this is where you can browse and go to which folder you want so if i'm here and i want to go to uh all my recordings so i want to i have this folder called all new recordings i just have it here you just do select folder and you have that and then you do select folder and it's right there it's pretty simple straightforward if you anytime have a problem finding stuff it's really good to just go click on this pc start from step one and go in whichever hard drive you have or whichever file you want to do so that's really good uh re recording format you want on mp4 this is the best for fps and just uh, for compatibility in general when transferring files. Your encoder, if you do not have an NVIDIA NVENCH right here, .264 or anything like this, you're gonna have to put it on uh, either Apple ProRes or X264. You can try either one, in my opinion. Um, obviously the NVIDIA will be the best if you don't have this though, Um, choose X264. For most of you on guys on low-end PC or in uh, AMD cards, you might most likely won't have an encoder like this. You will probably have to do x264 for risco i'll put if this is on a different thing you want to go here and you want to put this on 1920 by 1080 for rate control you want to have it on cbr if you do have a lower end pc however um this is since i have a pretty good graphics card of a 1660 super uh, i do cbr 30,000 uh bit rate with a key key eight frame interval but if you want to have it for more fps and uh for you low-end pc people you want to have this bit rate on like 3000 uh the lower you go the smoother your game will run and on max bit rate you want to have this at around 6000 i haven't done this in a while because the last time i recorded a video like this i was actually on a macbook and now i have a better pc 
um so i haven't had to do this in a while but i still know how this works guys if you want to have it even lower i'm pretty sure the lowest you can go is i don't even know if you can have it at 500 but 500 is really low and if you guys don't know what bitrate is it basically uh is dependent on your internet connection and it's how blurry or clear the video is so if you see a lot of pixels that's most likely a low bitrate video or sorry i said that wrong if you see like a bunch of pixels everywhere um and it seems just like blurry and you can't see the words on your screen or anything that means it's a low bitrate video so keyframe interval you want at two and preset you want low latency performance for your game um and profile you want on high gpu you want on zero max p frames you want on two these guys i guarantee you are the best if you have a higher end pc you want this to be on 15,000 to 30,000 um that's honestly the best for a uh, higher end pcs but i know for x264 it cannot run this high of a bit rate so make sure to have it on vbr do what i told you and you should be all good to go for audio you can change the bit rate here i just have this for better quality audio um honestly it really doesn't matter in fact i probably just changed this back to 160 uh you can experiment with it i'm not a huge um person on the audio bit rate i don't think it really affects it so replay buffer right here probably won't have checked but you want to turn this on and i have it at 20 and it actually shows them estimated memory usage if you have a um, not enough space. You probably want to lower this. But for Fortnite clips, you typically want at 20 seconds, depending how good of a player you are. If you typically don't make the most insane plays, maybe like 10 seconds. If you do long edit clips, you want this on probably 60 to 30 to 60 seconds. After you do that, you want to hit apply and you should be all good to go there. Please don't click off the video though, because you guys still need to know a lot more stuff. There's still more columns I need to go through. So audio right here, I actually haven't changed anything with this. You can just look through it and see what you want to do with it. There's a bunch of my audio settings for my different scenes and stuff. It's i really haven't bothered with this much and i really haven't changed any setting whatsoever so if you want to experiment with this or search up another youtube video you can um but i haven't found any use for the audio section thus far and for video right here this is really important you want your base canvas resolution to be 1920 by 1080 if you can't if you're still finding yourself lagging put it on 1280 by 720 but for now put it for an on 1920 by 1080 and test it now same for outscale uh resolution this is like what will actually be put out on a youtube video um so if you want to record in 1440p you have to put this 2560 by 1440 and if you want to record in 1080p just do this if you want to record 720p the output scale resolution will be 1280 by 720 and just to clarify because i used to get um confused about this in the beginning so the base canvas resolution is what you you record at it's what the video will be recorded as um over here so if i do 1280 by 720 um the video will be lower quality like here the output scale resolution however will be like a higher quality so like the actual file uh, will be like 19 by 20 by 1080 size it's just the quality won't be as good it's really hard to understand but and just experiment with it and i'm sure you'll be fine down scale filter you want lanzo sharpening scale 36 sample this is the best one for this um, I'll tell you if it changes in the comments for 2022 and then for fractional FPS value if you are having a difficult time with FPS and you your clips are still laggy put this on 24 or 48 uh, those are the two other fps settings you can try if your clips are still lagging because it kind of gives the illusion that the clip is still smooth even though it's not a full smooth 60 fps um that's what i used to do i used to put my clips on 48 frames so i was able to stream and get try to get clips at the same time after you do that click apply you should be able to go there and i guess for the hotkeys this is really really important uh, the only thing you need to know for the recording is replay buffer and this up is the up arrow key on my keyboard you can change this to whatever you want but basically when you start your replay buffer and when you do get a clip it'll be whatever key you press so if i do i it'll be i but i'm gonna change that back to up uh, up arrow key and whenever you get a clip um you just want to press it and it'll say the last 20 seconds of your game as long as you press this start replay buffer and you have replay buffer on you can uh, experiment with all this other stuff i'm gonna go ahead and click apply for now that's all you need to know for the replay buffer for these advanced settings over here i recommend if you have direct 3d i'm pretty sure that's the only one here that's the only thing you need to check really and that is about it i do never disable hotkeys um here and uh yeah that's about it for these settings guys so guys the way i'm recording this and actually recording my screen without obs is i'm using streamlabs obs but it's very similar as you can see on the bottom right here so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and click start replay buffer and i'm gonna go ahead and go into a 1v1 i'm actually gonna show you how this works so as you can see 
Um, I have my keyboard cam right here. I don't have it on stream mods, but I do have it right here. This is kind of complicated and weird since I've never done this before. So, oh man, I have to turn on my double movement real quick. This guy's being toxic. So I'm on window full screen right now. And so that is the reason, that's the reason the recording might be lagging a little bit. Actually, no, never mind. It's not window full screen. You guys are going to be able to see the game decently smooth. So I'm just going to be free building, maybe hit a clip on this kid. Um, then we're going to take a look at, at the clips. Oh man, why is the map so bright? We're about a piece controller, we're about a piece controller, trust. 104. Okay, we got a kill right there. Now look guys, I'm gonna go to OBS, go ahead and we're clicking the up air as you can see in the keyboard cam right here. I'm gonna do it one more time just for safety. So like, I'm gonna try go hit a clip real quick. See if we can hit a quick clip real quick. Oh my gosh, that's actually really nice. And as you can see, he left the game, but... Okay, we're clicking the up arrow right here. That's the up arrow. And let's see if both of those clips saved real quick. So you can go ahead and stop replay buffer after you got the clips you wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and stop replay buffer right there. As you can see, this is my hand right here on OBS. All new recordings. So here we go. We are going to all new recordings. As you can see, I have a bunch of just random stuff. And if I scroll down all the way down to my replays, uh, as you can see right here, there we go. Smooth, nice clip. This is 30,000 bitrate, which is why it's really clear and nice quality. For you guys that are, have like around 3,000 bitrate, it'll definitely it'll definitely be less uh, less quality. So we got that right there. See, that was the last 20 seconds. Same with this one. But this clip was actually kind of nice though. Hold on. We look at this. Just on my clip real quick. I lowered the volume, by the way, guys, if you can't hear it. This clip was actually kind of nice though. Nice 185 in the head right there. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and click the up arrow right there too. And uh, yeah, it fully works, guys. If you have the guys, if you guys have any more problems, basically went over everything you need to know. And this works the same for stream mobs too. It's basically the same settings and everything. If you guys have problems with that, just tell me in the comments. And um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Uh, please leave a like. Let's try to get like more than 100 likes. Maybe like 1K likes. I'm hoping this video does well. See you guys in the next one. Okay, never mind. See ya.